Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we shall be learning a technique for solving a problem on probability. Here the given problem is five letters B, G, I, N and R are rearranged to form the word bring. What is the probability that the word will be formed? We are having five letters B, G, I, N and R. If we just form a word bring what is the probability that word will be formed or these five words are arranged randomly so what are the chances that they will be arranged in such a manner that word bring is being formed so again our uh, probability is given by favorable event upon total events so total events these five letters can be arranged in factorial five ways factorial five means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so these 5 letters can be arranged in 120 ways maximum possible these 5 letters can be arranged in different ways or in 120 ways different combinations are possible with these 5 words but in our favor how many words are there only one word that is bring so number of favorable events one because only bring is in our favor all other combinations are not in our favor so probability is given by 1 upon 120 favorable event upon total events so answer is 1 upon 120 friends if we see one more problem of similar type with a slight change the seven letters of the word reading are arranged randomly what is the probability that the vowels occupy only the end position so these seven letters are there they are arranged randomly in some combinations vowels occupy the end position so again we have to determine what are the favorable events possible favorable events and what are the total events possible so let us see number of possible events because reading it consists of seven letters one two three four five six seven it consists of seven letters so miss the total possible events or these seven letters can be arranged in factorial seven ways this sign indicates the factorial factorial seven means seven into six into five into four into three into two into one this is the factorial seven now what we want vowels must occupy only the end position how many vowels are there e a and i there are three vowels we want these three vowels must be at the end position so let us consider these three vowels as single words as single word they must be at the end but among themselves it is e a i it may be a e i or i e i like this so these e a i can be arranged in factorial 3 or 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 6 ways so these at the end can be arranged in 6 ways so these 7 letters consist of 3 vowels and remaining 4 are the consonants so remaining 4 consonants R, D, N, N, G in how many ways these can be arranged factorial 4 because 4 consonants are there so factorial 4 means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 24 ways so the it is in our favor it is also in our favor means 3 vowels must be at the end and 4 consonants must occupy the remaining position so here end term is there so total number of favorable events will be 6 into 24 these are the favorable events and total possible events are factorial 7 or 7 into 6 into 5 4 3 2 into 1 so probability will be given by number of favorable events that is 24 into 6 divide by total possible events that is factorial 7 7 into 6 into 5 4 3 into 2 into 1 if we simplify this we get 1 upon 35 so answer is 1 upon 35 so if reading seven letters of this reading are arranged randomly the probability that vowels occupy the end position is 1 upon 35 friends thank you very much for watching this video you can also follow me on facebook thank you very much